State's Nation here with Eric Reed, head wrestling coach here at William Penn, as we preview the 2016-2017 season. Uh, coach, appreciate you coming in for uh, a little while. Um, we are going to talk about the whole list of guys you got there on the 16-17 uh, the roster, but first off, let's rewind, talk about 15-16, um, year of a, a lot of youth, um, John Altieri going to Nationals for us. Uh, I guess just recap last year a little bit yeah, it's uh, kind of a weird year that we had all those seniors graduate, right. and then we also had several, three seniors, would have been seniors last year, we decided to redshirt, right. so um, had a big turnover in our lineup in one year. Yeah. Um, so we had a lot of those young guys in there right away, but they grew throughout the season mm -hmm. and, and, and finished up real strong. Obviously, John was kind of our main guy there. Um, you know, we were just talking about the other day, he started out at 0-2 the first tournament of the season in freshman division. Yeah. Um, at a tournament that ends up, ends up being uh, one match away from being an All-American. Yeah, exactly. um, Tommy Rio, same way, he you know, came on strong at the end of the season there. Fabian Rodriguez placed at the regional tournament. Mm -hmm. uh, Austin Gowen placed at the regional tournament. Um, Conte Crocker really came on last year. Matt Cuthbert was ranked nationally right. um, a couple times throughout the season last year. So, you know, I, I, those guys starting out as freshmen at the beginning of the year with very little experience yeah. to where they were at the end of the season was uh, just tremendous. So, um, you know, we're already seeing this year in the room, uh, you know, guys are just starting off right where they left off last year. So we're still going to be a young squad again this year, but right. those guys have some experience now. And uh, just looking at where we were at this point last year compared to where we are now, we feel so much better uh, where we are, and that's without getting the uh, seniors thrown back into yeah, the lineup exactly. again, too. Right. So um, it would definitely be a much different uh, squad this season. Yeah. Um, Off-season-wise, like you said, I mean, there's, there's always room for improvement on the recruiting trail and all of that. Um, I guess just talk about from the end of the season until now and maybe throw in how preseason is going. Yeah, things are going real well so far. Um, you know, this will be the first year in a couple of years, I think, that we're not looking, you know, right now there's some freshmen that are looking good in the room, but, right. you know, we've got a good solid group of guys coming back that, uh, you know, there's not a lot of freshmen that we're looking at that are going right. to jump right into that starting lineup right away, but, um, again, we got some really talented freshmen and some guys that redshirted last year that will get back in that lineup, mm -hmm. um, and if they do what last year's group did, you know, we're going to be a totally different team come February than right. we are uh, here early November. Yeah, so, yeah, um, you know, we got a few guys that I think might be able to sneak in there and knock some guys out that were starters last year. Mm -hmm. um, but, like I said, the guys that were starters last year are looking really good right yeah. now. So, okay. um, just kind of picking up right where we left off last season. Definitely. All right, well, let's roll right into this uh, this roster here you got in front of you. Uh, I guess just start at 25 and let's go on up. Yeah, so 25, obviously, uh, John Altieri coming back, uh, right. you know, kind of will be our, our main guy there. Um, Jeremy Andahar had a, a fairly successful season last mm -hmm. year. He's got a lot of experience coming in, uh, um, you know, as a junior this year. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got a couple other freshmen, uh, Darquell Pierre and Adam Proctor, who both had really good high school careers and have been looking good in the room so far right. um, this year. So, um, you know, we look for them to challenge and, and be competitive um, throughout the year. At 133, we got Tommy Rios back. Um, in there, so um, he's looking to build on last season, and again, just looking at where he was, uh, where he is right now compared to where he was at this point last year. You know, not even not even in the same ballpark. So right, right. Um, I think he finished up ten and sixteen last year. So um, you know, coming off that, he'll be uh, much improved this year. Yeah. Um, Forty one, uh, Fabian Rodriguez is, is returning again. Mm -hmm. um, he's another one of those guys that you know struggled to win a match in his first two or three tournaments last year, and then by the end of the season, um, you know, was placing at the regional tournament and only a match away from going to the national tournament. So, yeah. um, you know, he's kind of picking up right where he left off. So that'll be a, um, a strong point for us. Uh, right. Blake and Sheldon Ely both redshirted last year. They both look good in the room so far this year. So, um, you know, it could be. By the end of the year, I see them guys pushing him and yeah. uh, being right there in the mix for things. Um, at 149, we got uh, quite a few guys in there that uh, are going to really push each other. Uh, Brad Watson, uh, redshirted last year's right. national qualifier three years ago, um, obviously steps right in there. Keontae Crocker yeah. had a, a kind of a breakout season last year. Um, we're kind of starting to figure things out and uh, finished up the season really strong. So, you know, those guys will definitely be battling for the spot there, and more than likely that's a spot that, uh, as of now, we're planning on taking two guys to the regional tournament at. So, yeah. um, you know, they'll both do well there. Nate Caves um, has looked good so far this year. Uh, was just kind of getting things figured out last year and then dislocated his elbow right before Chris Christmas break and then um, had some issues with that healing. So he really never got back into the 
end of lineup or on yeah. the map much last year. So, yeah. um, but again, he's looking really good right now. And then we got a freshman, Colin McConnell, um, who looked good in the room so far this this preseason. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll look for him to uh, improve throughout the year. And uh, who knows where he where he may be by the end of the season. Right. Um, at 157, uh, Logan Loftus has uh, battled injuries the last two years. So if you look at his record, it hasn't been all that good. But um, you know, had a really strong freshman year, and then just the last two years has just have not been healthy. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's impacted him a lot. So this year, he's everything's going good so far. He's staying healthy, mm -hmm. uh, looking solid in the room right now. So um, you know, we look for some big things out of him this year after you know, the disappointing seasons he had uh, the last two years. Yeah. Um, White Slaughter is another freshman that's looked really solid in the room so far uh, during the preseason, and uh, you know, he's another one of those guys that uh, he may not set the world on fire right here the first right. few tournaments, but right. the way he works and his attitude by the end of the year, he's going to be he's going to be really tough. Good. Um, 165, Austin Going will probably be our main guy there. Mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Hopper wouldn't be in the mix, but as of now, he's planning to redshirt um, this season, so. Um, Johnny's kind of in between 74 and 65, so I think a year for him to develop will yeah. will definitely help him uh, make that move there. But uh, Austin had a real strong year last year and, mm -hmm. and finished up again one match from uh, making the national tournament last year. So um, you know him coming back from from last year and having yeah. that experience is going to make a big difference for us. Mm -hmm. um, so we can expect some big things from him this year. Uh, 174, you got Jeremy Walters in there who. Um, redshirted last year and was one match from going to nationals two years ago, yeah. and was also a junior na uh, junior college national qualifier. So he brings some depth and some experience for us there. So that'll um, be a solid solid person for us. Add in there at seventy four, yeah. Nick Wise, uh, same thing. Another one of those seniors that redshirted last year mm -hmm. um, will be stepping in there at eighty four for us. Um, one ninety seven, we got uh, several guys there that I think on any given day any one of them could kind of. Step up and take the mm -hmm. spot there. Uh, Dane Jones um, transferred in at semester time last year and registered last year, so we get him in the lineup there. Um, Chris Rodriguez, who was a starter for us there last year, um, will be in there. And uh, Sheldon Rodriguez, who registered last year, um, who looks all solid in the room so far this year. So, um, you know, any of those three guys, I think any given day, yeah. who's ever on that day could be the guy that uh, that takes that spot. So mm -hmm. um, it's good to see some co competition there. Usually 97 has been a tough weight for yeah, us to kind of fill. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, so to have multiple guys in there um, is definitely going to be nice for us. And then uh, Anybody match. that could possibly go down to 84 um, from there? I mean, that's a big gap. I mean, Dane might be able to. We'll kind of see where yeah. things are um, as the season goes on for him. But... Um, yeah, that's a, a pretty good jump yeah. from 84 yeah. to 97 for those guys, but uh, it's also a big jump from 97 to heavyweight. So. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. It's kind <laughs> so, of stuck yeah, a lot of those end. guys start yeah. the season 220, 225, yeah. so yeah. you know they weren't big enough for heavyweight. But uh, you know, I think as they as they get down to 97 and make weight a few times, then you know that may weight may come off a little bit more. Right. So Dane's toyed around with the idea that maybe second semester we may look at moving him down, but. Uh, yeah. Definitely first semester to get him back on the mat and get some experience. Right. We'll keep him up there and focus on sure. uh, improving more than the weight cutting. Yeah. Um, and then at uh, heavyweight, we got Matt Cuthbert and uh, Gerardo Suarez, who were both in there last year. And uh, as I mentioned before, Matt had been ranked throughout the season mm -hmm. last year, beat some real solid guys. A um, little disappointing finish at the regional tournament last right. year. Got to beat some guys he'd beaten previously. Um, but again, coming back, he's only a sophomore this year and uh, has that year of experience under his belt. So, um, you know, definitely looking for some big things from him. And uh, Gerardo um, had, a, had a good season last year. Um, again, coming in as a true freshman at heavyweight is uh, kind of a tough feat yeah, <laughs> for yeah. kids to handle. And, uh, you know, he took his lumps a little bit, but same with him. You know, he looks like a completely different person this year compared to last year. So just, you know, all those young guys that we had thrown in there last year. Um, coming back that year of experience is uh, mm -hmm. definitely going to help him a lot this year. Yeah, definitely. Um, breaking down the schedule a little bit, well, as we talked about everybody there, um, breaking down the schedule, um, it looks like it's about the same as what it was last year. Um, you know, obviously the the heart duels are something that's kind of an interesting uh, concept. It allows you to at least see everybody in the yeah. conference. Um, is that... Uh, you never really talked about in the past, but is that, you know, a, a nice advantage to be able to at least see, you know, all of those wrestlers at least once? Because yeah. a lot of times we don't go south for tournaments, so we don't see the Bakers and the Missouri Valleys a whole lot in tournaments, you know, and Benedict for that matter, et cetera. But, you know, we see Grandview quite a bit. 
but grand view is grand view. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, I guess you know, just talk about the schedule a little bit and maybe highlight you know how the the heart. Yeah, works. I mean that, that's uh, I was ha- definitely being in a conference last year was that was a big thing for us yeah. and uh, you know, to see all those schools because uh, our regional alignments now are based on uh, your conferences. Right. So you know, all those schools will be in our in our region again with uh, a few more schools added in. So mm-hmm. you know, it's nice to see all those guys. There's some of those schools we see week in and week out, um, but a lot of times our starters don't necessarily meet up in tournaments right. you know, all the time. So right. it's nice to have that uh, duel where you know, our, our number one guys are going to be seeing their number one guys, and that yeah. kind of gives us a preview of where we'll be for, uh, for, regions, for regionals. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you know, it's nice to have that in there and um, do that. Um, but other than that, our, our schedule is pretty much the same as what it has been in the past. We start out with the Grand U Open, mm-hmm. um, which is a nice one because they have a freshman division. So... Um, I think for our young guys, that definitely helped out last year. Yeah. Getting to wrestle similar age guys, uh, you know, because unfortunately they kind of some of them get it taken to them in the room yeah. here this first part of the year. Right. So to sometimes to throw them to the wolves that first tournament doesn't get the season started wow. off well for them. So it's nice to have that freshman division there for them. Um, and then the following weekend we go to Luther, which again has another freshman division. Yeah. Um, after that we go to Augsburg, which actually breaks them up into three divisions. Mm-hmm. So they don't necessarily do it age-wise, they do it more ability-wise. Yeah, so, yeah. again, especially for our young guys, those first three meets of, of yeah. wrestling, similar uh, age kids and similar ability kids um, definitely helps us out. And I think we saw that last year with our freshman group yeah. that, uh, you know, they really improved throughout the year where mm-hmm. um, some years past when we've gone to Nyack, Iowa State would send some of their guys up there, run into Iowa at some of the other tournaments. And, yeah. uh, you know, your guys you thought of having a good season, all of a sudden they're 0-4 to start the yeah, year, and it right. uh, takes them a while to get out of that. But our young guys yep. uh, did really well last year and, and responded well with those first few uh, age division tournaments. So um, you know, we'll keep that in, in line, and then we finish up the, before Christmas break with the Simpson tournament. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we come back after Christmas, start off with Central. Um, following weekend we actually have a break the second weekend of january this year uh with uh, national duels being that weekend there's just right. no tournaments anywhere around mm-hmm. um and then we have the conference duels the following week or you know we go to missouri valley the next weekend and then conference duels so um pretty similar to the past and the missouri valley tournament's a really nice one yeah um the invitational one that's a two-day one yeah. i believe last year there was 24 nai teams there so almost half the little, almost half the teams in the country were at that tournament. Yeah. So that's kind of a nice uh, preview for nationals right. to see some of the uh, teams from out east and out west that we don't normally see. So um, that's always definitely a competitive one for us. Yeah. Um, and then we have our conference duels the following week, and then we go to back to Missouri Valley for um, their open there to finish out the regular season mm-hmm. before the qualifiers. Right. Definitely. Um, I guess breaking down this season in a couple quick quotes. What is What's the key to success for, for the states for this year? Uh, I think we just got to keep doing what we did last year, bring those young guys along, and then, uh, like I said, we had a, we had a big freshman group in the lineup last year, mm-hmm. and from where, what we've seen so far, those guys are pretty much picking up right where they left off last year. Um, so I think we just with them, you know, just keep getting them to improve, um, not to think, okay, I did well last year, now I'm yeah. automatically going to do good this year because – um, you know, unfortunately, in college it doesn't work that way. In right. high school, you can always count on getting a few more wins every year, just because you're more mature than yeah. everybody yeah, and uh, get a little, bigger, a little yeah. bit older. But um, you know, at this level, there's always a new group coming in every year, so um, you have to continue improving. So I think that's going to be our biggest challenge. Is um, you know, those guys know come in knowing they have experience this year and, mm-hmm. and feel good how they finished the season last year. So um, big thing will be not getting them just to sit on that, but to continue to improve yeah. and to. Uh, um, hopefully it's improved this much as much this year as they did last year mm-hmm. yeah definitely all right coach well best of luck here in 1617 we'll be obviously tracking all of your progress uh check out uh, the guys as many times as you can not a lot of home events this year i think we just have two yeah, new, just two yeah two, Nor- two normally we do yeah. three home and three away um but we made a switch with grandview because um with the way our conference is split up right we do the north and south portion of it and it, it just so happened that both of our conference duels this year were home, right. which meant we would have been away for both of them next year. Yeah. And um, it was brand new, kind of had the same way both of theirs were away this year. So yeah. um, just to get the schedule to work out, we're going to go yeah. there again this year, and, and we lose that one duel. Um, also not doing the uh, William Penn Open again this right. year. Cool. Um, still kind of contemplating some dates with that. Mm-hmm. And, um, with Central's tournament, 
the way the calendar falls this year, we would have been on the same date. Right. And two tournaments that close together, I think, yeah. is <laughs> going to make both of them a little bit weaker. So, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, we kind of toyed around a little bit with that first weekend in December to possibly get bring that back, but um, there's some other tournaments that are shipped in their dates around and everything. Yeah, so, we can see whatever, um, yeah, whatever I'd sells. rather than do a. I don't want to run a. a, a a small tournament yeah. like we did the last year. Yeah. You know, if we won one, run one, we want to make sure it's a quality event. Yeah, so exactly. um, we're kind of waiting to see where some of these other tournaments settle in at for their permanent dates, and then right. we'll uh, look at getting that added in the schedule, hopefully next year. But yeah. um, you know, eventually we'd like to get that up and going again. Definitely. All right, well, check Coach Reed's team out throughout the year. Um, you guys start in just a couple weeks at Grandview, so best of luck, and uh, we'll, we'll be cheering from you from the sidelines. All right, thanks. All right, thanks.